What's going on YouTube? Rob A again, and today I am very pleased to bring you Mastermind Creations reformatted R07 Fila Saber, Mercenary Surveillant. Uh, this is the sixth and final, final figure of the Feral Rex team. Now this is the optional sixth member. Uh, it's not needed to complete Feral Rex, uh, but it is of course available. Uh, so you can basically use Fila Saber here and he's in all the comic books, and they've added him into the uh, the storyline. He's actually a major part of the storyline in the uh, Mastermind Creations comics. But uh, he basically will replace Talon as one of the arms uh, for your Feral Rex. So he's a retool of uh, Tigris. And uh, as you can see, he's he's based off of the Generation 1 Pretender, Catilla. Uh, because Catilla originally started out in the uh, story in the Transformers comics and all that sort of thing. Uh, he originally started out as a uh, Decepticon, but was later uh, kind of recruited to the uh, Autobot team. So, uh, without further ado, here is Fila Saber. Looking super cool. I'm really, really excited to have this guy. And the reason for that is... Um, Basically because, you know, you've got the, the, the combiner team, and once you have them combined, you kind of feel, like, I don't know, guilty about pulling them all apart and, and messing around with the uh, individual robots. Like, you want to have that awesome display piece. And uh, and Feral Rex really is an amazing, amazing display piece. Uh, but this kind of allows you to have those really, really nicely done individual figures. Uh, just one you can mess around with and kind of not have to worry about, uh, you know, attaching him to Feral Rex. I'm not going to be using this guy as an arm. I'm going to show you guys what he looks like. Uh, this guy's going to be like my standalone kind of to mess around with and just enjoy uh, kind of guy. But as you can see, uh, here's the box. I've gone on quite long enough. Here is the packaging. Very nicely done as they... Are even my wife said when I uh, pulled this out of the uh, the mailing box, she's like, "Is that you know, is that your new <laughs> transformer or whatever?" And she was like, "That's a really nice package." So, uh, you know, somebody who could not care less about transformers, at least admiring uh, the packaging that these guys do. Uh, so as you can see on the back, you have an idea of what he looks like attached to Feral Rex here. He's got some cool accessories, which we'll get into in a little bit, and of course the window box. And when you open that up, you can see a very nice uh, image of Fila Saber there. And on this side, oh, it, it seems to be empty. Well, how about that? So let me show you what does actually come inside this box right now. So inside the box, what you do get are, uh, you get Fila Saber, and we'll just stick him over here. And uh, you get a bag of hooves for uh, Bovis, right? Bovis, uh-huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you get some hooves for Bovis in red because originally they are in black and uh, a lot of people had a, a problem with that. They felt his feet looked like dance shoes and I don't particularly agree with that. Um, but actually these look, I'm not even sure how these look. Hold on one second. Okay, yeah, sorry about that. So I, I just had to double check um, with Feral Rex because honestly, in red, they look like a completely different mold, but uh, you know, you know, once I checked, they are in fact the same. I may switch them out just because uh, I feel like the holes in these will peg more nicely than my on my Bovis because I, I have transformed him a lot, so his his uh, little pegs and stuff like that are getting a little a little weather worn. Um, but, you also get a couple of different faces. So you get a new face for Bovis here, like an angry, growling face, which was shown in his, some of his prototype images. His, his teeth are painted yellow, so you'd have to like go in there and just get a little dab of like silver paint on there or something just to make, make them more teethy. And of course you get the uh, kind of grimacing face for Fortis. Uh, so they included those as well. I think that's really cool. I, they didn't have to do that, but I'm, I'm glad they I'm glad they did. I don't know whether or not I'll utilize these. I may give uh, Bovis his angry face because I really do like that expression. Uh, but 
yeah, you get those. You also get the uh, instruction booklet and all that sort of thing. And I'll show you guys this stuff real quick here. I do apologize ahead of time. This may be a longer uh, video just because there's a lot of stuff to show you. Uh, so you do get, of course, the collector card for Feel a Saber here. And they went ahead and included the collector card for Feral Rex himself. So very, very cool mercenary warrior. And on the back you can see the uh, strength, intelligence, speed, endurance, rank, courage, all that stuff on the back. Quite high. And uh, on Feel a Saber, also quite high. Uh, Feel a Saber on his own is almost as strong as Feral Rex. I'm sure that's, you know, on a different, you know, scale altogether. But you do get the two cards, and that's pretty awesome. Also, uh, you, of course, get the instructions, which we'll uh, go over briefly. So it shows you all the stuff that comes with him. And uh, it's transformation. His transformation to... Uh, Robot mode and arm mode, Feral Rex ultimate mode. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Attach weapons. And that's really cool that you can actually attach uh, Feel a Saber's weapon to Feral Rex's, uh, it was X-ray cannon or whatever it's called. Um, and also how the other weapons attach and things like that. And, of course, it shows you the dual blade configuration. Now, this has been shown before in other other uh, people's videos. Uh, but I didn't show it in mine, but you can, in fact, split Feral Rex's Oppenheimer sword into two separate, still ginormous, crazy swords uh, by attaching the individual blades in, in a different way. Um, and this is what they look like. Two big, crazy swords of awesomeness. So that's pretty darn cool. And another pretty darn cool thing you get is the friction kit, which I was not expecting at all. I have to tell you right at, you know, at the start, once I knew this guy was starting to, to ship out to, uh, to retailers and starting to get into people's hands, I went on like a media lockdown. Like I, I, I knew this guy was coming with like secret special surprises. Uh, all of the S words that you could imagine. And uh, so I totally didn't want to be spoiled on any of that. I wanted it to be like cool surprise when I open them up. And I'm really glad I did. So I don't know anything that's coming in this package other than what I'm showing you now. So uh, friction kit, you get these little rubber doodads to go on the bottoms of the combiner feet uh, in order to give him non-slip grip which is pretty awesome. It looks like you even get a couple little extras in there as well. So very, very cool. I'll be attaching these to Rex uh, later on, but all that stuff out of the way, done. Whew, I'm exhausted. How about you guys? So on to Feel a Saber himself. Let's move the cards out of the way. Here he is looking pretty awesome. Uh, I really do like this uh, this mold. Uh, it's an amazing figure altogether. Uh, I really like the head sculpt. It's the original tiger's head sculpt, uh, but they've actually added a couple extra things as well, like the um, the visor that's reminiscent of Catilla's original uh, form. And of course, he's got the nice big saber fangs, and you can still open the mouth. It's just a little harder because the teeth are in the way. But they've got a little little notch down there that you can see that you can use to grip onto. Uh, but his mouth still, of course, opens very, very wide. Very, very wide. Well, you know, you'd have to to get those, uh, those fangs in, right? Um, he's still got the spikes on the shoulders. And I know some of you are saying, oh, hey, your forearms are backwards. Yeah, I know. I like them like this. I think they look better. I think it holds the, you know, kind of gives a more natural... Uh, shape to the to the leg and foot because um, otherwise you know they have them like this I'm not a big fan of that so I like to keep them this way and I think overall they look better to me so so there um, of course the back feet all the all of these parts are the same as far as I can tell to Tigris he's got the black uh, lower legs and stuff like that and little tail and just really 
really nice very nice paint work everything super cool one thing uh, that is not in the instructions and you know nobody told me about <laughs> because I wasn't paying attention or wasn't looking uh, I was like hey Tigris has this little bomb in his chest uh, where the combiner port used to go so what happens if I open up the combiner port on this guy what will I find in there and I found this <laughs> here is a little penguin how stinking adorable is that super stinking adorable and it's posable you can flap the little arms if you want um, and I believe you can move the legs as well yes yes you can mine were a little paint stuck yesterday and in fact this one is still paint stuck and I don't want to move it I don't want to risk messing it up but uh, mastermind creations they're uh, their little spirit animal I guess would be uh, what you'd want to call it or something is um, let's see if we can show you here it's a little hard to make out but it's a little little penguin on skis um, so that you get a little penguin with this guy. I think that is spooper adorable. And he, of course, just fits right in there and just closes right up. <laughs> so at any point, Feel a Saber can run into battle and deploy penguins uh, willy-nilly. So very, very cool. You also get a, uh, a blaster with Feel a Saber here. And you can, you know, plug that in anywhere you like. All these little ports and pegs. Uh, you can do it right on the shoulder. He's got the usual spots. All that fun stuff. And he also comes with this. It's a uh, kind of weird claw weapon thing. Uh, you can put these in like this far, which is kind of weird. Um, cause as far as I know, that doesn't really do anything. Um, I haven't found any way to utilize this like in the downward position like that, but uh, otherwise you just put this up and you have this helmet here and it looks pretty much just like Attila's helmet from, uh, from Transformers, uh, which is really, really cool. Uh, and you can of course clip that right on over Feel the Saber's beast head and he's got these giant uber fangs coming out here that you can actually even you know point well not really when it's on there but uh, but uh he's still his head is completely posable with this on there and uh it's actually a really nice addition i thought and this just goes up and over like kind of becomes a like a collar for this guy so he's got like spikes coming off of his shoulders as well uh, i just think that's really really neat and a really cool addition overall. Okay, guys, so to transform Feel a Saber, uh, just like you would Tigris, well, first we're gonna pop the mask off, which is completely unlike what you would do on Tigris. Um, and it clips in pretty, pretty solidly. Come on, buddy, let's go. This was not this, there we go. All right. <laughs> All right, so. Uh, what you want to do is go ahead and flip the beast head around like so. We're going to take this whole section. We're going to take the the cat head and move it forward whilst moving the kind of upper shoulders down to form the robot chest. And you just clip that all in and then you just take the head and flip it around and up. And there you go. There you have the head and you can actually see very nice head on this guy and very nice metallic blue eyes that really really catch the light nicely and really make them look alive um, so for the shoulders we want to take the shoulders and we're gonna just pull them up like so there you go and then those are gonna form the robot shoulders I'm gonna flip the arms around open up his forearms here and flip his hands out let's flip the uh, cat paws around there same on the other side 
clip it closed. Bob's your uncle. You can uh, twist the midsection around. I had the uh, the midsection kind of facing this way, just so you can get some nice like movement side to side in the in the cat mode. Uh, but you can do whatever you want, of course, with that. Just flip it around like so. And to take the legs, we're going to open up the back thruster bits on the legs, just like that. We're going to twist the cat feet around. And then we're just going to go in and in, mostly in. There we go. And then just twist the whole bit around until it kind of clips into place and then flip these back down and just clip them in like so. Twist these up and around in some direction. There you go. Until they coincide or, you know, clip into the coinciding uh, holes for the pegs. Just like that with the thrusters facing that way, <laughs> which are going to be the front of the legs. But, uh, Lift the feet up. There we go. All right. Then you want to press down on these red bits. These are going to be the knee pads. You want to flip those all the way around to the front. Open up the legs, just like so. And then twist the knees down, just like that. Pull the legs apart. Flip the backs of legs back over to close that up and pull the feet down and just flip them right down and through like so. Down and through. And then, you know, get the get the tail out of the way. And uh, there you have feel a saber. You can also uh, move these bits around to the side, should you so desire to Thicken out the hips and thighs a little bit if you want. And uh, of course, you take the blaster here and stick that right in his hand. And there you go. He's also got another weapon, which is pretty awesome. The, uh, the cat helmet, the saber helmet that he was wearing uh, as, a, as a saber tooth cat. You can go ahead and flip the teeth forward like so. And this can be a little tricky. Actually, it can be a lot tricky. I'm not going to lie. Um, he's got a little tab in there that you can flip down, as you can see. And what you do with that is it can plug into this slot on the cat's paw. But it can be very tricky getting it into that without just pressing this back down. Um, so I'm going to try and... Nope. Didn't get it. <laughs> I'm gonna try and do that for you. If I had one major complaint about this figure, it's it's really that. Um, if they had just made it a little bit longer, a little bit easier to to keep out, it would be like a whole whole different ball game. Um, but it is quite tricky. You just gotta take some take some patience. And I think I think we got it. And then of course this red bit can go like down into that spot there. And he's got a pretty sweet uh, shield slash knife weapon. Uh, it's actually really really neat. So yeah, very very cool. So posability is amazing. He's got the ball jointed head. Which can go all over the place. Uh, you know, he's got the shoulders. They go out, they go in. Lots of clicking. Super duper. I, I can't even call it double jointed elbows because he's got he's got a bicep swivel. He's got like a bicep joint here. He's got another joint here, and then another joint here. So he can like curl his arms around on themselves in all unhealthy, unnatural ways. Um, he's got, of course, the wrist swivels. Uh, he's got, you know, a uh, swivel here at the upper tor or at the torso, 
at the waist. He's got the crunch, the ab crunch, which can be turned back, you know, to have like a you know, backwards crunch. Uh, he's got the all kinds of movement there. He's got a knee swivel. He's got the knee bend. He's got the foot on a ball jointed stock so it can go everywhere you would like it to go. Um, so this guy can hold some poses for sure. Like, well, yeah. So he can he can definitely get some get some poses going on. And he looks really nice in a lot of poses. Uh, so I'm very very happy with that. I love his color scheme. Um, I just I just really really like this figure. Uh, so I am sure you guys want to see him as an arm. So let me get that all prepped, and we will show that off. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I've been uh, prepping Rex here for surgery. As you can see, I've removed Talon. I've uh, grabbed the hand off. And what, what you do with Talon here is basically just, uh, well, I'm going to turn, I guess I'll just leave his head like that. So you want to just put him back into beast mode, more or less. Just like so. So basically arm mode. This is according to the instructions. You can, of course, do whatever you want that works best for you. Um, so it's got this kind of going like that. Okay? So that's what we're working with. And then you want to, of course, get the uh, get the wings off. I did put the... I did put the little feety things on here, as you can see. And they work just fine, as far as I can tell. So we're going to grab the wings, and we are going to, of course, attach them to Feel a Saber, because that looks awesome. <laughs> I mean, it does look awesome, but that's not what they're for, so let's pull that off. Attach Talon's wings back onto Talon, where they rightfully belong, like so. And we're going to just plug the whole shebang right on the back here. There you go. <clears throat> and uh, that fits snugly. Okay. So he is a bit back heavy now. Uh, but you can, of course, and I've already done this, you can flip up. Uh, he's got the little, these little pegs on the back of the feet. You can flip those up to support Rex, however, you know, however he may require. Um, but it should be should be fine, especially once you get the weight of uh, Fila Saber back onto the front of, uh, of Rex's body here, back onto the shoulder. So we're just going to take Fila Saber here and transform him back real quick more or less into robot mode or not robot mode but beast mode okay guys so we've got Fila Saber more or less in arm mode here and uh, as you can see got the hand attached so he's got the he's got the motion he can bend at the elbow here he can bend even farther using the robot legs as well. Uh, so you got that going on. We can attach the Super Mega Blaster <laughs> to his legs like so. At the feet. Just a little bit of force, <laughs> please. Do I have something misaligned maybe? Yeah, had it misaligned. Okay. Good, good, good. So that's attached there, you can see. And uh, the last step is to take the cat head thing and uh, just pop that mask right over here. And uh, weirdly enough, this guy's head is not screwed together. It's just popping off. That's kind of weird. All right, good to know. Uh, so you just pop that on and uh, that'll cover up the robot head very nicely and then you can of course attach that to Rex's arm 
just like so. And now you have uh, Ultimate Feral Rex. And I think, I think that's it, yeah. So, let's just back this up a little bit. So there you go. There is Ultimate Feral Rex. We can pop his eyeballs on there. You can see what's going on. We'll do a little, little turn around, which is actually harder to do now that I've got those little bumpers on his, his legs. But you can see here's the uh, side profile. Let me get the legs. There we go. That's it. So you can see the side profile. He's got some back package going on now. Um, obviously, without that, he'd be very nice and flat at the back. But uh, there you go. The tail actually does a really nice job of covering up the, the bird legs, so they're really not noticeable on the back. Um, and of course, you can actually use this time to really spread those wings out. I had them all crunched up because I have to fit them in my uh, fit them in my shelf normally, but now you can really really spread your wings and fly, Feral Rex. Um, but yeah, so I quite prefer Talon on as the arm, so I'm going to do that. <laughs> or if anything, I'm going to pull Talon off and use him as a separate figure. No, I'll do, do uh, Feel a Saber. But uh, yeah, there you go. Feel a Saber, the optional fifth member of the Feral Rex team. Looking super cool and uh, really, really gnarly. This guy is... There we go. I think a little off balance here. That's better. There you go. So yeah, Feral Rex, still the king. Uh, even more so now with this six member. So that is going to do it for this review, guys. I want to thank you so very much for watching. As always, be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more. Uh, in the meantime, thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.